بعدهون إن أرى أن قال كن فهو فظلام ثم نور What's the matter? Hot and cold lift off. What can you see? In the picture, we can see Omar and Fred. Omar is holding a map of Saudi Arabia. And here we have a compass with the directions. North, south, east and west. Here we have northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. In the middle, we have the center. A. Look at the map. Which cities can you see? On the map, we can see Tabuk, Dammam, Medina, Riyadh, Jeddah, Mecca, and Abha. B. Listen. What would Fred like to do? Can you tell me about Saudi Arabia, Omar? What are the important cities? Let's look at a map. Here, look. We're here in Riyadh in the center of the country. And this is Jeddah. Jeddah's nice. It's by the sea. And this is Makkah, the holiest place for all Muslims. Jeddah and Makkah are in the west. And here's Dammam in the east. I see. And then there's Tabuk, up in the northwest. And Abha, down here in the southwest. Thanks, Omar. I'd like to go to Jeddah one day. Okay, so question B. What would Fred like to do? He would like to go to Jeddah one day. D. Look at the map again. Where is El Medina? On the map, this is El Medina. El Medina is in the west of Saudi Arabia. What can you see? Listen again to the conversation and complete. Here we have Fred and Omar. We have five empty spaces. One is center. Complete two, three, four, and five. Can you tell me about Saudi Arabia, Omar? What are the important cities? Let's look at a map. Here, look. We're here in Riyadh, in the center of the country. And this is Jeddah. Jeddah's nice. It's by the sea. And this is Makkah, the holiest place for all Muslims. Jeddah and Makkah are in the west. And here's Dammam in the east. I see. And then there's Tabuk, up in the northwest. And Abha, down here in the southwest. Thanks, Omar. I'd like to go to Jeddah one day. Okay, now it's your turn. This is a map of England. Here we have cities in England. Answer the questions using center, center again, east, northwest, south, southwest. Example, where's Coventry? This is Coventry. The answer, it's in the center of England. One. Where's Southampton? Where's Southampton? It's in the south. 2. Where's Penzance? Where's Penzance? It's in the southwest. It's in the southwest. 3. Where's Liverpool? Where's Liverpool? It's in the northwest. It's in the northwest. 4. Where's Norwich? Where's Norwich? It's in the east. 5. Where's Birmingham? Where's Birmingham? It's in the center. Now, here we have a map. You're going to write the names of the cities from 1 to 7. Leicester's in the center. This is the center of England 
so we write Leicester here. Hulls in the northeast. Hulls in the northeast. Hull. Dovers in the southeast. Dovers in the southeast. Dover. Portsmouth is in the south. Portsmouth is in the south. 6. Portsmouth. Plymouth is in the southwest. Plymouth is in the southwest. 3. Plymouth. Blackpools in the northwest. Blackpools in the northwest. 4. Blackpool. Ipswich in the east. Ipswich is in the east. 7. Ipswich. Now write the numbers from 1 to 4. 1. We have two people. He is giving him a glass of water. 2. Is I'm thirsty. So 1 would be... What's the matter? What's the matter? I'm thirsty. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. I'd love one. 2. We have a painter. He looks very tired. So, 1. What's the matter? 2. I'm tired. 3. Sit down and have a break. 4. Thank you. From the beginning. What's the matter? I'm tired. Sit down and have a break. Thank you. Now look at the compass and write the directions. From 1 to 8. We use the words in the box. Number 1, we have the letter N, North. N, North. 2, N, E. N, E. Northeast. Northeast. 3, E. E is East. 4, S, E. S, E. Southeast. 5, S. S. South. 6, S, W. S, W. Southwest. 7, W. W. West. 8, N, W. N, W. So it is Northwest. Northwest. The directions are North, South, East, West. Northwest, Northeast. Southwest, Southeast. What we did, we talked about Saudi cities. We talked about English cities. We rearranged the sentences in a conversation and we wrote the directions on a compass. Listen and write. Listen to the words in the box. Meets. Goes. Watches. Does. Takes. Teaches. Eats. Matches. Rains. Write them in the table. Meets. Meets. S meets goes goes z goes watches watches is watches now let's complete the list does takes teaches eats matches Rains. Now let's read the words ending with S. Meets, takes, eats. Words ending with Z. Goes, does, rains. 
Words ending with is, watches, teaches, matches. Listen to Nina talking about her weekend. Here we have five sentences. Write how often she does the things. Always, usually, often, sometimes, never. Tell me about your life in England, Nina. What do you want to know? Well, what you do at weekends. We have our weekend on Saturday and Sunday. It's different in Saudi Arabia. Your weekend is on Thursday and Friday. On Saturday, I sometimes go shopping with my friends. Then, on Sunday, I often help my mum in the kitchen. And what do you do in the evenings? I usually do my homework. And I always phone my friend Lisa. She never phones me. Okay, so one, Nina goes shopping with her friends on Saturday. Three, sometimes. Two, she does her homework in the evening. Eight, usually. Three, Lisa phones Nina in the evening. Never, zero. Four, Nina phones Lisa in the evening. Always. Five, she helps her mother on Sunday. Often. Now let's write sentences. One, always drink tea morning. We have a woman. She always drinks tea in the morning. Usually play afternoon. We have two boys. They usually play in the afternoon. Often rides Saturday. A boy riding his bike. He often rides his bike on Saturday. Four, sometimes read in the evening. We have a girl. She sometimes reads in the evening. Now it's your turn. What do you do? Mark the table according to what you do every day. I have breakfast in the morning. Always. I eat rice for lunch. Often. I phone my friend in the evening. Sometimes. I watch TV in the afternoon. Usually. I go to school on Fridays. Never. I go shopping at the weekend. Usually. I take photos in the holidays. Always. I play football in the park. Often. I have tea with my lunch. Sometimes. I take a bus to school. Never. Now write them in sentences. Write a paragraph about your day. In the morning. In the afternoon, in the evening, at night. For example, in the morning I always have breakfast. In the afternoon, I usually watch TV. In the evening, I sometimes phone my friend. And at night, I never play football. Now look at the phrases here. Watch TV, read a book, go for a picnic, play games. Meet your friends, help your mother or father. Look at the questions. What do you do in the evenings? Uh, in the evenings, I usually, I sometimes. In the evening, he usually, here it's I, and here we have he. For example, you can write, we usually read a book, she usually reads a book. I always meet my friends, he always meets his friends. They sometimes go for a picnic. She sometimes goes for a picnic. You often play games. He often plays games. Now in this video, we read words ending with S, Z and IZ sounds. We listened to arrange activities and we talked about weekend activities. What's the weather like? Look at the map. This is a map of England and this is London. In the map, we see the weather. Different kinds of weather in England. Question 1. What's the weather like in the north? From the picture and the temperature 0, we can say, it's cold and snowing. 
Here's today's weather. It's cold in the north and it's snowing. It's hot and dry in the south. It's cloudy and wet in the west. It's raining. It's windy in the east. A strong wind is blowing. Look at the picture. Here we have Dave. Dave has a map of England, Scotland and Wales. He's talking to Omar and this is Ibrahim, Omar's father. What's the weather like in Britain, Fred? Listen. What's the weather like in Britain, Fred? My dad says it always rains. I don't say it always rains, Omar. I say it often rains. Well, it rains a lot, yes. It's often wet. But then sometimes in June, July and August we have dry, hot, sunny summers with no rain. But not always. And what about winter? Winters can be very cold. Cold and windy. Does it snow? Yes. It sometimes snows in my favourite city, Oxford. In the mountains in Scotland and Wales, it snows a lot. Where are Scotland and Wales, Fred? In the north. Here, I'll show you on the map. Look, there's Scotland in the north and there's Wales in the west. Okay, so question one, where is Scotland? It's in the north. And where is Wales? This is Wales. It's in the west. Listen again. Underline the correct words. What's the weather like in Britain, Fred? My dad says it always rains. I don't say it always rains, Omar. I say it often rains. Well, it rains a lot, yes. It's often wet, but then sometimes in June, July and August we have dry, hot, sunny summers with no rain, but not always. And what about winter? Winters can be very cold, cold and windy. Does it snow? Yes, it sometimes snows in my favourite city, Oxford. In the mountains in Scotland and Wales, it snows a lot. Where are Scotland and Wales, Fred? In the north. Here, I'll show you on the map. Look, there's Scotland in the north and there's Wales in the west. So, number four, in, uh, number four, the weather in England and Saudi Arabia is the same or different? It's different. Look at the pictures. Here we have sunny weather, sunny, snowy, rainy and snowy. Under the pictures we have ticks and crosses. This is usually, often, sometimes, never. 1. In spring the sun often shines. 2. In summer. In summer the sun always shines. In summer it never snows. 3. Autumn. In autumn it often rains. Winter. In winter it sometimes snows. Look at the pictures and choose the correct phrase. It's cloudy for number one. What can we say about the pictures? It's hot, it's raining, it's snowing. It's cold, it's sunny, it's windy. Picture two, it's raining. Three, it's sunny. Four, it's windy. 5. It's cold. 6. It's hot. 7. It's snowing. What's the weather like? Look at the pictures. What's the weather like here? 
it's windy. In this picture, it's snowy. Here the weather is rainy. The weather is hot. The weather is cold. The weather is cloudy. Now what we did, we listened for information. We talked about the weather. We used the adverbs of frequency and we used the new words. فظلام ثم نور